Dave, oh, four games left, eighth in the table. Aston Villa away this weekend to kick off that run. Just how important is this game for you guys? Yeah, it is, especially with uh, all the results around us. It's uh, so close in the round, that part of the table. So we, we know we need to get a, a good result, um, probably three points to keep us in the mix for Europe. So that's the aim. We're confident that we can go and do that. You're a bit frustrated when you particularly saw the Liverpool results this week having moved ahead of you in the table. Yeah, well, obviously that's with, out with our hands. Really. We just have to concentrate on ourselves. Um, we've still in a decent position that we're still fighting for Europe. So if we can put a run together in the final few games of the season, then we're in with the shout. So we just need to concentrate on ourselves and uh, that starts with Villa uh, this weekend. And how is the mood? How is the determination ahead of these final four games to achieve those ambitions? Yeah, the mood's been good. Uh, training's been lively again this week. We're obviously a little bit disappointed that we thought we maybe should have came away with three points up at Everton. Um, but our focus now turns to Villa first and foremost, and then we've got another three uh, tough games to come before the season finishes. They've obviously had a difficult season, Aston Villa, but what, what are you expecting from them this weekend, particularly after relegation was confirmed for them last week? Yeah, it's been difficult. Um, it's not an easy position to be in. Um, obviously, they'll be wanting to try and get some pride back and, and show the fans uh, a bit of desire. So we'll, we'll expect a tough game as always. There's no easy games in the Premier League, no matter who you're playing against. Um, obviously, I spent a lot of time at Villa, so I, I know how big a club it is and the demands that the fans have in the team. So it hasn't gone as well, obviously, as they would have liked this season. It's been very frustrating, but... Uh, we just have to concentrate on ourselves and we know if we uh, play to our ability then there's a good chance we'll come away with a, a good result. How do you feel as an ex-Villa man when you see what's going on there and what's happened this season? Yeah, it's difficult. I thoroughly enjoyed my time at the club, obviously. Uh, very fortunate to, to get a good grinding through the youth teams uh, up into the reserves and then get my chance in the first team. And it's a club that's obviously very close to my heart because of that. I spent uh, seven good years there. so. I'll always have a soft spot for the club and um, it's disappointing to, to see them getting relegated. Obviously, they've never been out, outside the Premier League before, so it's going to be a challenge for them, but it's uh, a situation they have to deal with and look to try and bounce back uh, from straight away. And from your point of view as a team, do you kind of need to sort of block out everything that's going on there and potentially block out the sort of atmosphere as well? Yeah, I think so. I think um, it would be the wrong attitude just to think because they're relegated that it's going to be an easy game, you can turn up and win. And, uh, we'll not go in with that mindset. Um, it's a dangerous game for us. We want to go in there and get three points and, and finish the season strongly. So our focus is solely on that. Do you have in mind what you might need to achieve over these last four games to, to get that European spot? I don't really think we've set ourselves target in terms of points for the final four games, but it's about just trying to, trying to get as many points as possible. And that'll start with this weekend, weekend at Fulham, and then after that, the focus will turn to Man City.